What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. In this video we are jumping into the Incredible Hulk issue number 6. What we have seen from the Hulk series so far is a primordial horror, one called Eldest. It has awoken monsters all across Earth and it has sent them directly after Banner. Most recently Man-Thing warning Bruce Banner of this and asked him for help dealing with a monster called the Swamp Witch. After they defeated the witch, Bruce's wife, Betty Rose, appeared on Eldest's behalf with an appeal. Give the Hulk to the Eldest, and Betty and Bruce, they could live free lives away from all of these monsters. They themselves would no longer be monsters. But with Bruce refusing the deal and hitting the road, the young companion Charlie that is traveling with the Hulk, she has just most recently learned that she is being accused of murdering her abusive father. Now, make sure you guys have subscribed to the channel, make sure that you like this video, and with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we dive into this issue, we are picking up in a small southern Texas town. A young boy playing on a motorcycle, one belonging to a man by the name of Sal. While he sits here and has fun on this motorcycle, this is when the monster appears. Seeing it on the horizon, it begins to run down and attack all of the people. As the parents rush to get their children inside, this monster chowing down on one of the men. A mother grabbing her son and hiding him in a safe location. This is when we see that motorcycle, the tires turn to flames. And the Ghost Rider has arrived. This is what takes us to one month later. We have Bruce and Charlie that are just walking down the street. No direction, not knowing where they're going. They are just walking. Now Bruce wants to head back to the last town that they were at. They're in the middle of the desert, limited resources, no shelter. But Charlie worries about the way that the cop had looked at her when they were in that last town. This is where she asks Banner, do you think it is true what they said on the news? Did I kill my father? And Banner lets her know that he doesn't really know. He didn't see the kind of shape that the guy was in. But he did wrap his car around a tree right before she had given him a beatdown. So if he is dead, Bruce is more inclined to blame the car crash than a well-deserved beating. While they have this conversation, a truck pulls up to him. The truck, the men inside, letting him know that they really are about 30 miles away from the next town. Telling them that they don't want to be out here at night because something hunts the roads at night. As Banner and Charlie arrive at the campsite, they begin to unload all of their things and Banner says that it's probably best he sleeps away from the camp. And so with Banner heading off, some of the other kids come up to Charlie and they ask if she wants to play football. This is where she sees that motorcycle. The young boy sitting next to it saying that it belongs to his Uncle Sal. That Uncle Sal, he rides it when the monsters come. Like an angel, except mean. And Charlie can relate to this, cause she knows a guy that is exactly like that. An old woman bringing some food to Banner. She begins to say that children, they never learn, do they? Kindness from strangers. Watching kids play. Minute to catch your breath. All of this is over for Banner. There is only Hulk. Telling Banner to run unless you want your new friends to pay along with you. As we pick back up with Charlie and the young boy. Observing this motorcycle talking about when the monsters come. The boy saying that it is a for real monster. It took David away, but Uncle Sal heard it. Now whenever it comes, Sal scares it away. This is where we see that bike, it begins to burn. It catches a blaze. Sal only comes when something bad is close. When the monsters are close. As she goes running for Banner. Letting Banner know that something is coming. We see that Banner is gone and his clothes are on the ground. This is where we pick up with Banner transformed. The Hulk telling Banner that you never learned. That you should have stayed away. But when the Hulk looks up, he hears the rumbling of a motorcycle. The Ghost Rider has come for him. As the Ghost Rider begins to open fire on the Hulk. Machine gun in hand. The fiery bullets punching away at the Hulk's body. With the Ghost Rider making his first run. The Hulk says that you are no Ghost Rider that I have ever seen. And this Ghost Rider, he says that I look out for the kid. And say your prayers because tonight you sleep in hell. 
And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. This one was a very short issue. And if I'm being honest, it is kind of disappointing. We got about 20 page comic and not a whole lot happened. There's not a lot of context. There's not a lot going on. All we see is a ghost rider by the name of Sal that apparently only appears to protect this young boy and then some monster in the desert. The sad thing is we didn't even get a fight between the Hulk and Ghost Rider. We see the Ghost Rider attack, make his first attack, and then it's cutscene, roll the credits. This is the stuff that has just infuriated me over the years. That some of these comics just lack so much substance. It lacks the depth. It is interesting to see this new version or whoever this Ghost Rider may be. It'll be interesting to get a little understanding on who this is, where the powers come from, and what all of this means moving forward. But if I'm being honest, this series is kind of, it's kind of dragging along. After everything that happened with the last run, this one is moving like molasses. It is moving so slow. Granted, we are only six issues in, but so far the only thing that has really happened is Hulk has fought a couple of monsters, and that's really the extent of it. It hasn't talked about his past, it hasn't talked about much of anything going on, besides the fact that Hulk just hates Banner so much and he wants to take over. He hates Banner so much that he is willing to hurt anybody and everybody. I'm not a huge fan of this direction for Hulk or Banner, but hopefully by the end of this run, we'll see it go in a different direction. My fingers are crossed, but like I said, this so far this series is lacking a lot. There's some interesting little things here and there, but for the most part, there's really not a lot going on. Hopefully this stuff begins to pick up soon because I don't know how much more I can read of Hulk coming across a monster, punching them, and then moving on to the next town. But let me know your thoughts. Let me know your theories. If you would like to get completely caught up on everything that is going on with the Incredible Hulk, go ahead, check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It'll get you completely caught up on everything that is going on with this series. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by joining the channel membership. Much like Patreon, having multiple different tiers, from $1 to $50. From loyalty badges to comics every single month. Not only are you helping out the channel tremendously, but you are getting tons of perks in the process. Now, if you're unable to do this, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit that notification bell, and with that being said, until the next breakdown.